Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Chashmish and in our today's video we will be seeing swarm intelligence with respect to artificial intelligence. So when the name we heard swarm, what is swarm? Swarming in a sense if the animals, aggregation of similar animals generally towards the same direction is called swarming. So uh, how the animal behavior and the artificial intelligence is comes together if it is the question then the definition will be like this. So what we will be uh, doing is in artificial intelligence we will be designing an algorithm or a distributed problem solving devices that is getting inspired by the behavior of social insect colony and other animal society. When I talk about the insect colony or an other animal society, we will be generally getting the thought of what it is. So let us take an example and proceed further. So let example be like birds swarm to find food. Okay, so you would be seeing the birds. How it will be? All the birds will be traveling in a same direction. Okay, so there is a basically three rules. There are three rules. That is very simple rules. What are they? First rule. Collision. Avoidance. So, this is a bird which is flying. So, they should be avoiding the collision between each other. That is the first one. So, second rule would be velocity matching. What do you mean by velocity matching? That is the velocity should be matched with the other birds and third will be flock centering that is stay near to the each bird to avoid any problem grouping is the main solution for any problem so if the group is there it is very difficult to break or do any harm to the group so avoid the disturb distribution of the bird that is stay near neighbor birds okay so now we saw the three simple rules of swarming so what is the characteristics of spar swarming so the simple characteristic is it is a very simple rule for individual or each individual will have this or have to follow this rule so there is no central control there is no one in the whole thing that is controlling each other it is equally the rule is equally made for each individual and so there is the uh, if there is no central control that means that is decentralized hence robust so it is because of this it is decentralized and robust okay so another thing is emergent emergent as i already said if it is a group the performance will be very high and even complex function performance will become very easy okay so uh, learn from insect what we will be learning from the insects computer systems are getting complicated and hard to have a master control so swarm intelligent systems are robust and relatively simple hence we will be taking up swarm intelligence to perform most of the computer function that solves optimization problem okay so as a part of spawning or intelligence that is via insect colony or animal 
the next one is ant colony optimization so uh, let's stop at this point guys let us understand this farming very clearly and then we will go with the ant colony optimization ant colony optimization will be there on my channel for next week so till then keep tuned and stay tuned keep in touch don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends have a good one bye bye